Hello and welcome to Visual Basic tutorial number two. We're going to be following up calculator tutorial number one and we're going to work off of that project. If you're not done tutorial number one, I would suggest going and do that unless you can catch up using this code and this form. But do tutorial number one, it's good. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this be able to do a couple more calculations than what it does already because all it does is addition. So the first thing we're going to do is change calculate button right here. We're going to change the text on that over in the properties bar. And we're going to change it from calculate to add. Next, we're going to go to the windows forms over here, get a button, and we're going to get four more of those. We're going to make button 2 is going to be subtraction so you just put subtract button 3 is going to be multiplication and button 4 is going to be division you know what let's, let's go ahead and add two more buttons here and uh, button 5 is going to be we'll just go ahead and throw area in there do something else different and button 6 is going to be our clear button you can name it whatever clear I'm gonna name it destroy all text so now you should have six buttons. All right. So we already have the add button all coded from the last tutorial. So now we're gonna do subtract button. So we're gonna do it the same way as we did for the add button. So if you want, you could take that same coding and copy it down, except for the final solution because we are going to be subtracting this time. Um, in case you remember from the last tutorial, dim, this is how you set your variable right here and this is how you tell where the variables come from. What this is saying is that A is going to be a variable, a string, and A is coming from text box 1 here and B is coming from text box 2 which is here and text box 3 is giving out the output A and B and it's there so that's what that's doing so now let's make our solution here which is going to be the same as above only subtraction so text box 3 dot text equals A minus B so now we have our subtraction We'll do multiplication, and we will make this the same as above. The dim a as double, dim b as double. A equals text box one dot text. B equals text box two dot text. And our final text box, text box three dot text equals a times b. And that'll give us our multiplication output in text box 3. Next, we'll do division. Double click on division. We'll copy it from above to get all that typed out. And then we will do our solution. I think you get the idea now. Which is going to be A divided by. B. Don't forget your print C. And that'll give you your final outcome. Now we're going to do area. And area is going to be the same as above. Setting the variables is going to be the same. Because we have the same text boxes. If you were having them in different text boxes, you would want to move them. But they're all going to be in the same text boxes. So you could just copy it. Text box 3. 
dot text equals a times b. And as you can see, that's going to be exactly the same as our multiplication button, but it looks cool on the calculator, so we'll just leave it there. So that does area. Now we're going to do the clear button. Um, I named mine destroy all text. You know, just getting a little creative. Uh, so go ahead and double click on your clear button. And there's a couple ways of clearing text. Uh, one of the easier ways is just to set them all as blanks. So get text box one dot text equals and double quotes. What that's doing is just when you click the button, it's just making it say nothing in it. So we'll do that for all three of our text boxes that we have. And those are our three text boxes. So now we have all of our buttons here. Let's go ahead and add one more. We'll make a we have area. Might as well make we'll make this button perimeter. This one's going to be a little bit different. Um, go ahead and double click on that. We can still copy it from above. The variable setting. Dim A. All that. But the solution's going to be a little different. Because <coughs> we only have two text boxes. But we're going to need four calculations. And we're going to make this A plus A, quote, plus B plus B. Forgot my B. And that'll have the outcome for a perimeter. So now let's run this and test it out. First number, 32, 32, subtract, add, area multiplication, division, perimeter, and destroy all text. It went blank. Nothing. Alright, so that's our upgraded calculator. Um, that is part two of two, and there will be another tutorial coming up, which will be over making a web browser. Thanks for viewing.